Alright guys, so we're on hole one, 385 yard part four. I'm gonna start with the two iron here. Hit a cut off the 150 stake. And we'll also hit the uh, driver as well, see where that ends up. And uh, yeah, just give this round off a good start. All right, so we got about 150 left to the pin. I believe my drive is somewhere up there. I think it went pretty straight. I kind of lost a bit in the, in the uh, sky, so we'll see if we can find it. But uh, probably go the probably pitching much here. I'm still trying to figure out how short the ball is going to go this morning, but definitely that, one, that shot definitely didn't go too far. So we'll have to keep that in consideration. So yeah, pitching wedge hitting in a little bit uphill from 150. All right, here's where the drive ended up. You can see pitch mark right there, ball right there. Pretty short shot left, probably about 50 yards. And it's good to show how short it's going, because I hit that pretty decent. And obviously it's, as I said, it's like 6.45 in the morning, so ball ain't going too far, but pretty good shot. You guys can also see what I got left for my three for my pitch wedge shot. So, see if we make a good putt. All right, so not a bad start. I thought that was definitely tracking, so didn't quite get to run out, but uh, still a nice little easy four to get it up, get us started. Now we're on a hole two, 430 yard par four. And guys, I have an awesome story to tell you about this, this hole. This was actually the course where I hit my first ever 300 yard drive. It was in a practice round for a um, junior tournament here. I was 10 years old. And that was the tee box right there I did it. You guys can see there's a massive drop off there after the 150. And I still remember it like it was yesterday. For me, it was a pretty good hit to get to that 150 marker. It's probably about 200 yard drive, which is not bad for a 10 year old. And um, this was back when the course was really baked out, um, a lot firmer than it ever has been since. Um, and so if you actually got to that little slope down there, it would roll all the way down to the bottom. And it rolled out to like 315, 320. If I can find the news article clip, I'll try to put it in the video. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but um, yeah, that was really cool. And definitely, <laughs> I never imagined um, where the sport of distance hitting would take me. So um, pretty cool thing to come back to. It's literally the first time since I've been here in like 10, last time I was here was when I was 10. So it was the first time I've been back here. So it's kind of crazy to come back and reminisce about it. But in any event, uh, we got about 440. So you know we're gonna send it with the driver. So hit a pretty good drive there and I'll give you guys a further analysis. So this was the red tees here and that was the 150 mark out there. And basically I got it, I got it pretty much just past that 150 mark and man this thing took off so once we get down there i'll show you guys kind of where my ball ended up from that 300 yard drive so i ended up right around here and you can see kind of looking back up there and I, as i said this was back in a time where rattlewood had much less irrigation and not as an advanced of a system of, like a system as i do now so the ball just hit and ran and i actually believe i believe back in that day Everything outside of about 50 yards of the green was hard pan. So that's another reason why I rolled so far. So let's go find my ball. Let's see how we can do on this hole. All right, so here's what we got left. 
Definitely have a tree to contend with here. Only 60 yards left. You can see the pin just beyond that tree. So I have a 62 degree wedge. And my plan here, honestly, shouldn't be too hard to hoist it over that tree, at least on the left side of it. We can probably get this 15 feet left of the pin. Pin high would be a really good shot. So let's see if we can do it. All right, so walking up to the shot, this is a pretty good shot here, a hair long, but you know, obviously it's gonna be very hard to have a really good distance control when you gotta hoist it that high. So can't be upset about that at all. Um, and it was a pretty tough pin location anyway. So we got about a 25, 30 footer. See if we can make our three. That's a cute looking deer. Always something nice to see early in the morning. All right, so a few ho hum fours started the day off. Now we're on to the first part five of the day, 530 yards, dead into the sun. I mean, dead into the sun. So I know it's probably tough for you guys to see. So we're gonna be staying with the driver. I'm gonna do my best to spot this ball. It's gonna be tough, but see if we can uh, send it straight up the fairway. I push it a bit right. The pin is actually in that direction right there. So got about 175, 180 left. It's gonna be hitting a nine iron. See if we can get it close. Well, a little disappointing there. Honestly, hit the putt I wanted to hit, just misread it a bit. On the hole four, 180 yards. Could be hitting a nine iron. Pins out there right over the bunker. Well, that's disappointing. Landed right about there, and it was pin seeking too. I hit a good shot, so I'm not upset. That was a great shot right at the pin. Exactly the shot I wanted to hit. I just got unlucky and carried probably about five yards further than I was expecting. I did all, I factored in it was morning, thought it was gonna go shorter, a bit uphill. And there's probably just a bit of wind up there that I can't feel, so it is what it is. I hit a good shot. Let's see if we can hit another good shot to get up and down. Well, I hit a great putt, you know, it wasn't the best chip, but not too worried about that four because I, de I definitely didn't reflect how I was in the ball or putting the ball there. So on hole five, 390 yards, par four, dead into the sun again, could be hitting two iron. So pretty good tee shot here. Yeah, 139 left. 
Americans in the back to playing 134. So I'm going to be hitting a less than full 46 degree wedge. Guys, here's where I ended up here. A little bit short right, but uh, you know, not not the worst shot, especially because if you go long, it's really not good. So, see if we can make a good stroke. Alright guys, that's a pretty solid two putt right there. Definitely happy the four. That is one of the tougher holes on this course with the green complex right there. So now we're on hole six, 340 yards. And the game plan is gonna be put it right at that little mound right there at the forearm and give ourselves a, a wet shot. Okay, so we ended up in the trap here. We got 76 yards left. So I'm gonna try to splash out the 58, catch it a little solid and just get it to be the right yardage. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that's actually the trail my ball left spinning back like that. So hitting out of that bunker, the ball skipped up to here and just kind of stopped for a second and it just started roping back. But that was actually a really, really good shot because you kind of, when you have like a 70 yard shot, you can't hit a full swing. You got to kind of hit a chip swing and catch a flush, which is really hard to do. So not a terrible shot. See if we can make a good putt. Alright guys, on the hole 7, 360 yards, could be hitting a 3 iron right at that uh, white stake right there, see if we hit a good shot. Alright, so just a bit right here in the high stuff, got 111 to the pin here. So, gonna be hitting 58 degree wedge. So that was actually a really good shot. I was actually able to hit it all the way over those trees there, like straight over them. So, didn't quite get the right distance, but um, I'll take it because that was definitely not an easy shot. So let's see if we can make this guy about 25 feet. Well, that was tough to take. Literally left that about a foot short, so. Still having trouble getting the pace for these greens, but we'll figure it out. On hole eight, 150 yard par three. You'll be hitting a pitching wedge.
Went a bit long here, unfortunately. A little annoying, honestly. I thought that was absolute money, but there is a little bit of wind starting to kick up, so I gotta note, take note of that. So we got about 25 feet here. See if we can make our two. Well, that was a pretty good two putt there, you know, just uh, again, a little bit of a disappointing result there from where I thought it would be off the tee, but this is what it is on hole nine, 550 yard par five, going to be sending the driver right at that white stake. Well, that was a pretty good tee shot there. Caught this one pretty good. 142 left, so that was about a 410, 415 yard drive. So not too bad for eight in the morning, 8.02 to be exact. So, and for you guys who are curious, that's kind of a typical pace for me. So I teed off at 6.40 and it's 8.02. I typically play a little under three hours when I'm filming without anyone you know in front of me. So that's why it's always nice to play in the morning. So I got 142, gonna be hitting a 48, 48 degree wedge. See if we can get close. Okay, guys, so here's where we are. Really good leave here. Not too bad from 140, got about 15, 18 feet straight up the hill, putting for our three. <laughs> 